the response of bees to GMO crops. Despite the fact that many scientists assure the public of the absolute safety of genetically modified organisms, bees continue to die. Want to know what is the impact of GMOs on bees? Local beekeeper Ontario, in Canada, appealed to the media after his farm was lost 37 million honey bees. Yes, 37 million, which is about 600 individual hives. According to him, bees began to die en masse after a field with a special fast-growing variety of GMO corn rose on a neighboring farm site. The dead bees were sent to research to find out what killed them. Scientists have concluded that in the dead bees, beeswax and pollen 121 species of various pesticides were found, most of which are used only for the treatment of GM crops. Scientists added that pesticides affect the nervous system of bees in such a way that they lose the ability to fight any diseases and bacteria. As soon as the corn started to grow, our bees died by the millions, said Shuett. While many beekeepers blame neonicotinoids, or neon. The collapse of a bee colony and many countries in the EU have banned a neonicotinoid class of pesticides. The U.S. Department of Agriculture cannot ban insecticides known as neonicotinoids produced by Bayer Crop Science Inc. It is known that two of the most popular pesticides Bayer, imidacloprid and clothianidum fall into the pollen and nectar and can cause damage to beneficial insects such as bees. Marketing of these drugs also coincided with the emergence of large-scale bee deaths in many European countries and the United States. Nathan Carey another local farmer says that this spring he noticed that there are not enough bees on his farm and he believes there's a strong correlation between the disappearance of bees and the use of insecticides. In the past, many scientists have struggled to find the exact cause of mass extinctions, a phenomenon they call colony collapse disorder, CCD. In the United States, for seven consecutive years, bees end up shrinking. American scientists have found 121 different pesticides in samples of bees, wax and pollen, which confirm the view that pesticides are a key problem. We believe that some subtle interactions between nutrition, pesticide exposure, and other stressors converge to kill colonies, said Jeffrey Pettis of the ARS Research Lab. The collapse of the global bee population is a serious threat to crops. It's estimated that a third of what we eat depends on bee pollination, which means bees contribute over 30 billion to the world economy. A new study published in the journal Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences revealed that neonicotinoid pesticides kill honey bees by damaging their immune system and making them unable to fight diseases and bacteria. After reporting large losses of bees after exposure to imidacloprid, banned it to use on corn and sunflowers, despite protests by Bayer. In another reasonable movement France also rejected Bayer's application for clothianidin, and other countries, such as Italy, also banned some neonicotinoid. After record bee deaths in the UK, the European Union banned the use of several pesticides, including neonicotinoid peptides.